Okay, so uh, here we are in the final of the solution videos for the Adeptly Adaptive Challenge, and there are two things we need to accomplish here. Each news item should be 200 by 275 in narrow state and 400 by 400 tall when in a wide state. And here we're defining the wide state as 900 men window width. Uh, in the narrow state, the headline should be 18 point and 26 point in the wide state. And then also we're going to hide the auto suggest box when in a narrow state of 400 or less. Okay. So uh, this will apply really only to the main page.xaml. This will only apply to our user control uh, that we created, the news item control. So uh, let me, let's go ahead and get started here. And um, let's open up the news item control. And inside of our grid, right after the grid row definitions, we're going to start adding a visual state manager, um, creating the visual state groups, and we'll create one visual state group. And inside that, we'll create two visual states. Uh, the first one I'm going to call uh, the narrow layout, and then the second one call wide layout. Uh, not that it really matters because we're not referencing it by name, but anyway. Okay, and then here we go, uh, visual state, state triggers, and then visual state um, setters. And I'll just copy and paste that here as well. All right, so in the triggers, I'm going to create an adapter trigger where the minimum window width will be zero for the narrow layout. And then we'll, um, we'll make this minimum window width uh, 900 in the wide layout. And remember, this is really on a per app basis, whatever makes sense for your application, where, you, where the logical breaks are. Uh, so there's no, like, as I've said many times already, there's no standard way to do this that I'm aware of. I might be corrected at some point here, but. So we're going to set that panel, that main panel width. Um, and let's make sure that we have this called main panel here. Here I'm going to call this, give this name, uh, main panel. So we're going to set the main panel's width to a value of 200. height equal to 275. Now keep in mind this is just for each of the individual items, news items inside of our grid view. And then the other requirement was to uh, set the headline text uh, text block, right? dot font size we'll set the value equal 18 there let me make sure I have that name set yeah I do headline text blocks great okay headline text did I say box that should be block there we go boy I did not like that oh should that be right yeah, I just didn't like that. Okay, good. All right, so then we'll change each of these setters up when we go to the wide size. And so in this case, we want 400 by 400. And we'll set uh, this font to 26. Great. So that should um, complete the first of the two 
um, items. Now let's go over to the main page.xaml and we're going to need to add a uh, visual state manager. In fact, let me just do this because I hate typing all this stuff out. Let's grab all this. We'll strip out the stuff we don't need. All right, so we'll just grab, get rid of these setters and uh, I think the minimum window width is going to be 400 any rate uh, and so in this case what we're going to do is set the my auto suggest box dot visibility and we'll set that equal to collapsed and then we'll do the same here and it should be set to visible I believe is the correct property there All right, let's save it and let's see what we've got alright here goes nothing oh yeah look at that the font got bigger the entire size of the the item got larger all right, now, unfortunately, we can't really go smaller than 400, at least I can't. So to test this, what we're going to do is change to the mobile emulator and test it there. And ideally, that suggest box will not be visible. And you can see it is not visible. I do have a little bit of uh, a little something I want to do up there with with that text block up on top. Uh, let me let me play around with that real quick. But other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I think it was too close to the top. So all I'm going to do is um, change the margin a little bit, push it down there, and then let's uh, see what the text. That auto suggest box. I'm gonna have a closer eye at that too because I didn't pay attention to that. All right, it does sit up a little high. I might push that down five pixels. So push down five pixels. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, okay, looks good. Let me just make sure that there wasn't some other item. Got that. Got that. Got that, did all that. Screenshots, got it. Adding, okay, use item, got it. And I think we did all of that. For the most part, I think we're in good shape. Okay, great. That's all there was to it. Hope you got it, or at least if you didn't get it, first time around, uh, that this helped you get unstuck. All right, uh, let's move on. See you in the next video. Thanks.